Well, losing forests is, is something that takes place on a landscape. But what a lot of people don't think about is how important trees are to people. I mean, we all know we depend on timber, we use paper, but in fact, people use about 10,000 species or more of trees all over the world, not only for those things, but for food, fruits, nuts, they're important foods for some people, fuel wood, most of the world's poor population cooks on wood and stays warm by burning wood. And when we lose those trees, people lose access to those resources. And as the population grows, there are more and more people who need those resources. So, what do we do? Well, there are a lot of people that are trying to conserve forest areas. Conservation organizations, some of our fellow research organizations, and that's a very important role. And what we focus on is the trees. Conserving the trees. Sometimes that means conserving them in the forest, and sometimes it means conserving them by collecting their seeds <clears throat> so they can be planted either to make new forests or on farms. If it's timber trees, we might care about how fast they grow or what the quality of the wood is. If it's fruit trees, we care about the taste of the fruit, the nutritional value of the nuts, the season of fruiting. All of these different variables are important, and if we want to have future options for a growing population in a world affected by climate change, we need to harness that diversity that we are given right now. It's there but it's being lost. And if we're losing a whole area, that means we're losing the, ter the specific characteristics of the trees that we're growing in that area. The reason there's so much research that needs to be done about these wonderful trees, quickly before they're gone, is that these are not domesticated. These are not crops. Crops have been selected by farmers for more than 10,000 years. We have great opportunity to make wild trees into domesticated trees and gradually make them, select them for the things that we want. So it's a great opportunity, but the big constraint is we really don't know about these trees. You know, we, we barely know their names in case, and probably there are many trees that haven't been named yet, actually. So we have a lot of research to do to understand these trees, their values, their variation, uh, how, to, how to conserve them. How to, use, how to break the germination of the seeds so we can plant them, where they'll grow, whether, this, whether the seed source or, this seed source or that source gives better results in a certain place. So much to learn. So when you're dealing with a very valuable wild resource, you need a lot of knowledge to transform it into a domesticated one. And that's what we're trying to help do.